Hey there folks. I've been monitoring the 2025 Columbia River sockeye runs as they come across Bonneville Dam on their way up to the Okanagan and potentially Lake Wenatchee as well. And uh, the numbers have not been looking great and as of this morning, June 20th, uh, they look even worse. So I kind of wanted to go over what I'm seeing and talk about the two possibilities of what's going on here. So let's just quickly go over a quick overview of this fishery and the timing of these runs and where these fish are headed, what these this year's forecasts were and how things are materializing and then we'll go more into detail about what I think's going on. So you have to pardon my really terrible graphic here, but we have the Columbia River which goes down towards Astoria. As it comes around the bend here, this would be down around the Tri-Cities. Um, these sake are coming up the Columbia after going over Bonneville Dam, John Day Dam, the Dales, and they make this turn here to go up the east side of the Cascades. Now a small percentage are going to go up the Snake River, about 1%, and 3% go up the Yakima, and, but the bulk of the fish are going to keep going up river where about uh, a little more than 20%, like 23 to 25% go up the Wenatchee River um, and then eventually on up to Lake Wenatchee where they spawn. The remaining 75% go up to uh, the Okanagan River. Most of them get trapped here in the Brewster Pool when that thermal barrier forms on the Okanagan River. Once the temperature of the river gets above like 68, 70 degrees, those fish just cannot go on up into Canada where they ultimately want to go and spawn. Uh, so they get trapped there for the summer until the first fall rains come. Now we need 58,730 fish to go over Wells Dam to have a fishery to meet escapement goals to have a fishery in the Brewster Pool. We need 23,000 fish to go over Tumwater Dam which is just outside the town of Leavenworth as they go up the Wenatchee on their way to Lake Wenatchee. Now in 2025 the forecast for uh, that's for this year they were predicting about 350,000 fish to be headed up the river. That's a little bit more than the 10-year average of 343,000 fish, um, and that would make it about the fourth largest run uh, on record in the last 10 years. So when I show you this graph, the 10-year average is the gray line, and the blue line is last year when we had a record-breaking run of almost 700,000 fish. As you can see, that orange line is trending well below the 10-year average, about 50% below the 10-year average, when it should be trending very near it or above it with a 350,000 fish forecast. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, there's one of two possibilities. One is that the run is coming in well under forecast, and I tend to favor this outcome. Some people might think I'm a bit doom and gloom. The other possibility is that they're just late. So I'm gonna go into some details of the what are the scenarios if they are indeed coming in under forecast, and this is what I think. So right now, as I said, it looks like they're running about 50% below. Um, I've looked at every date since June 1st compared to the 10-year average, and the average is 48% below, and the median is 44% below by each day. So based on that, I'm guessing there's going to be around 170,000 fish since it's running about 50% below the 10-year average. If it breaks out as normal, where about 25% of the fish go up the Wenatchee, that's about 41,000 fish for the Wenatchee, and you need 23,000 to go over Tumwater. So that still does leave space for a fishery, um, but that's only if things continue as is. That would leave about 123,000 fish for the Okanagan, which is again is a, a little more than uh, twice uh, what the escapement goals are. So there definitely is still space here for a fishery, even if uh, the run comes in at 50% of what it uh, was forecast. Uh, but it's not going to be lights out uh, like it is when there's you know 300,000 plus fish. So I'm still optimistic that there's going to be a season. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see some sort of reduction in the limit. I think the limit's four right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see that get bumped down, um, especially if numbers continue to trend downward like they did this morning. Another reason why I think this run is more likely to come in under forecast is because the parent generation of the current fish headed up river right now, these are four-year fish, uh, in 2021, so that would have been the run that was the parents to these fish that are coming now, 
There's about 150,000 fish that came up the river, but a huge number of those died because that was one of those years where the Columbia River spiked to above lethal temperatures for sockeye. And there were thousands of sockeye pouring into the little white salmon in front of the little white salmon and other cold water plumes like at the Deschutes. Uh, they were essentially just hanging out there because the Columbia was so hot, it was lethal, and they most of them just got trapped there and died. They were covered with fungus, and uh, their immune systems just failed. So even though 150,000 fish passed over Bonneville Dam, I think far fewer actually made it up to the spawning grounds, and even those that did were probably a lot more stressed. I remember fishing in that year and catching a lot of fish with those open sores and fungal infections. So there's estimates, there's no like firm estimates, but there's estimates that you know many tens of thousands of sockeye perished in the Columbia River that year and never made it to the spawning grounds. A lot of people are arguing that it's just, the run is just late and they will get here eventually, but I don't think so because typically when I see late sockeye runs, it's during those high water years and cold water years. Those fish can feel that cold water push out in the ocean, they hang back a little bit. Uh, but this year at every, almost at every dam, flows are low or at the 10 year average and water temps are slightly above normal um, at almost every single dam. So. I don't see this uh, abiotic, you know, river environment uh, factors playing into these fish holding in the lower river for some reason. Um, if they are wait, if they are waiting in the lower river, what are they waiting for? The river is just going to get more difficult for them to move up now as the water temperatures start to increase. But, you know, I don't want to be super doom and gloom. Um, there is some evidence that uh, we can still have a strong run materialize. In 2023, we had 350,000 fish uh, which uh, return, which is similar to this year's forecast. And in that year, um, the numbers for this year in red and the numbers for 2023 in blue were tracking pretty tightly until the last few days they've really deviated uh, but by this time uh, in 2023 we had around 38,500 fish uh, this year we're running around 32,000 so in that year we still ended up with 350,000 fish so there's still a possibility we could see a strong push of fish I don't think it's gonna happen I would love to be proven wrong but um, yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but right now, my sense is that the run's gonna come in smaller than forecast, but I really hope I'm wrong. There is a little tiny glimmer of hope here. The summer Chinook forecast for this year was 38,000, and they said they were, that was not gonna be enough fish to give us a fishery here in the upper Columbia. As of June 20th, we have 32,000 summer kings across the dam. Uh, perplexingly, they've kept the lower river open uh, for quite a while, and a number of summer kings are being caught, even though they said they weren't going to allow harvest of summer kings when they're clearly allowing harvest of summer kings in the lower river. But I think this is just another example of WDFW and ODFW screwing over Upper Columbia anglers um, and giving more opportunity to the lower river. But, you know, it's, I guess it is what it is. We're just not all that important out here uh, on the eastern side of the state. So yes, I think we're likely to exceed the summer uh, Chinook forecast of 38,000, but is it going to be enough to give us a fishery? I'm not holding my breath, but I'm hopeful. All right, I'll try and keep you guys updated with these numbers um, sometime late next week when I get back into town uh, from a camping trip. I'm going to go chase some, some big kokanee down in Oregon. But um, yeah, I... I would keep a sharp eye on those sockeye numbers. Um, like I said, I still think we're going to get a fishery unless things take a really uh, drastic turn in terms of numbers, but I don't think it's going to be anywhere near the 350,000 fish forecast. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder.